So this screen is 91 feet wide. And under a traditional digital projector, you couldn't fill it. You could only fill about 75 feet of the screen. So in order to have premieres in IMAX in the world in a theater like this, which has 1,000 seats, you really need to fill the whole image. In addition to being bigger, it's brighter, uh, the darks are darker, the contrast is better. Um, in regular, even in film, when a bride and groom stand together, the white and the black bleed together. Um, in, in the new IMAX projection technology, you see the whites, you see the blacks. Now, you might not realize, you know, if you don't have golden eyes, all the details, but you look at it and you're definitely coming out saying that looks really awesome, that's amazing. But here's the question from a business perspective. Last year, the overall U.S. box office was down about 5%. Is this the kind of thing that's going to get people to come out and pay the 10 or $14 to see a movie in a theater? The simple answer is yes, not alone, but as part of an ecosystem. So IMAX has innovated for our 45 year history and we actually invented stadium seats, the modern era of 3D, we're very early into digital projection, some advanced sound systems, and this laser technology will definitely create a bigger differentiation between the home and going out of the home. So you're not living in a bubble, right? A lot of changes are happening inside the home. Better, higher quality images, more choices of content. And the answer is you have to keep giving the audiences a better experience to keep them coming out of the home and paying to go see IMAX. Now you have about a thousand theaters around the world and plans to build a lot more. Can you keep up this rate of growth or is there some sort of limit of how many theaters like this you can have? Um, well, theaters like this, there's a limit because there aren't that many iconic locations. Although one thing Laser did was enabled us to go into a lot of iconic locations. So um, this Laser will roll out into Leicester Square this year, the Empire Theater. It's going to Universal City Walk, um, Sony Lincoln Square, the Smithsonian. Um, in a, on a general matter, of course, the, you know, you can't have an IMAX on every block, but f we have about 450 theaters in backlog, so we have a lot of growth for the see foreseeable future that's going to build out, and we're signing at a very ha healthy pace. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thank you so much for checking out our channel. You can subscribe by clicking right here to check out the latest Mad Money CEO interviews, market news, financial advice, and product unboxing. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.